All right, here we go, out on the water. Again, I've never fished this body of water before, but I have kind of a map of snakehead spots that I've mapped out and scouted and everything like that. And I've just been trying to try as many as possible. So there's a few right here in this area and we're starting off with this one. Hopefully we don't have to change spots at all and hopefully this spot is the one that gets it done today. Main pattern we're gonna look for today, especially since we are early in the pre-spawn uh, for snakeheads, is gonna be that timber bite. Right now, the weeds aren't fully grown up yet, so the snake should be around timber. Again, we're gonna be keeping our eyes open for any kind of topwater activity or any activity whatsoever, because often these snakes will show themselves. They'll come up and get a breath of oxygen from the top of the water or they'll hit something on top water, they will show themselves. So anywhere we see activity, we're just gonna throw right into. That was a hit. We're onto something. That might be a snake, guys. Hit it once and came back. I think, oh, did he break me off, dude? That was a snake, thousand percent. He got off, but you guys saw it right there. Out in the middle, huh? I don't think that one will come back for it because uh, he did feel the hook. I had him for a few seconds, but he just must have missed the hook. That was a nice one, too. <laughs> that is encouraging right there. On the swim bait, just didn't get the hook in him. I think he was just holding on to the back for dear life. Sun is coming out, the fish should be turning on, getting active. We just had one right there, man. That close to my first ever snake had at this location. These fish do have super hard mouths, so sometimes it's hard to get a hook in them. That right there is a log. That's probably what that fish was on, the structure right there. Starting to see a lot of topwater activity. I'm not sure if it's snakes or uh, bait fish getting chased up there, but I have seen quite a few swirls and little blow ups over here. So can only mean good things when you see that. There's one right there. Let's throw over in there. If it's a snake, I'll bet he hits it right here. There's another one, man. Either the snakes are really active or there's a ton of shad in here. Can't really tell. There's one, there's one. There we go. Oh yes, <laughs> there he is. What the heck? That's a striper, guys. That is a surprise, man. I know that's not what we had hit the first time, but that's a little surprise catch. A little baby striper. I didn't know they were up in here right now. That's cool. That could be what I'm seeing eating shad up at the surface. That's epic. Another one of my favorite fish, probably my second favorite fish behind a snakehead. Nice little striper, very clean looking. All right, that's not how I expected to get on the board today, but I will take a striper, man. That's my first one since last fall. Cool. I know we had a snakehead the first time though, cause that was a totally different feeling. I'm thinking with the sun being out right now and the water definitely warming up, we might be able to get a couple on the frog. That's what I'm hoping for. There's something. What the heck is this? Second species of the day, little large mouth. Could tell from the moment it hit that was not a snake, but hopefully a three or maybe four species day today. Got two kinds of bass already.
aggressive little bass. That's something else. Another bass. Yep. <laughs> Couple of largies sitting right there on that structure. Kaitech is killing it. Wrong species, but still fun. Gotta get through the little guys to get what we want. I'm snagged right here, but this is a perfect example of the structure that we wanna be hitting. Got calm water with access to moving water, shade and sun, and down cover right here. Look at that guys right there. There's a little uh, muskrat, I think that is, going through the water. Pretty cool spot right here, a lot of nature. One of these signs we're gonna get lucky and plop it down right in front of one's face. Just too much structure here, it's kinda hard to find them. So many good spots for them to be at. Oh man, I just had turned off the camera and uh, I hooked up with, I think, a big striper here. Not that big, but they're in here chasing bait. And he hit right at the front of my kayak here. Another one, that's crazy. This is not the fish I was expecting to be catching today. I can't believe that. I literally had turned off my camera a second before that fish hit right at the boat. It's a pretty epic little blow up, but uh, second striper of the day, that is just craziness. Still not what we're after, but very, very fun fourth fish of the day. Two largies and two stripers. There's another one. There's another one. These stripers are going crazy. What the heck? Just like the last one. That's exactly how the last one hit. And I got the right bait right now because this Kytec looks just like a little shad. Come here, bud. That is just crazy. A little spring striper action. Another shorty, but very, very fun fish to catch. Any of you guys that have... Uh, ever targeted stripers and creeks like I did last fall, no, it's an absolute blast. But this is truly unexpected. These fish have gotta be following the bait in all the way from where I cast out to because they're hitting it literally two feet in front of the kayak. Just a nice, slow, steady retrieve, letting the bait do all the action for me. When I picked these Kytex up the other day, I was thinking to myself, man, these things look so, so good for striper. And uh, it's manifesting that right here today. Not when I thought it would be. I thought I'd have to wait till the fall to catch some more stripers, but here we are. There's another one. Oh my gosh, man. These things are so much fun. What is this? Is that a white perch? Jeez, that's a huge white perch. This place is filled with some big fish, man. That is the biggest white perch I've caught all year. They are running right now, we know that. I've made a couple videos on it. I didn't even think I'd get into any of these today either, but We've now got three species in the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and get a weight on this white perch because you guys know I've been searching for that one pounder. I haven't got him yet, but I just wanna see how close this one is for reference. I don't think he's a pound, but maybe like seven tenths. <laughs> Called that exactly. Literally seven tenths of a pound. You guys see it right there. Getting closer to that one pounder I've been searching for. That's a really nice fish though, even though he's not a pound. Just got absolutely hammered again. Spot is hot right now. Every time I'm reeling this up directly next to the boat because as you've seen, most of these hits have been right at the side. So always wanna finish through with your cast. 
Well, I don't know what the heck just happened, but I just reeled in my Kitek, and this is how it came on. Tail is completely missing, and it's pulled halfway off the hook. I had a backlash. I kind of cast it up in that tree a little bit, and the bait was just sitting in the water, and as it was sitting in there, something bad happened to it. These Kitex, man, they're not very durable, but they do catch a lot of fish. That's what keeps people like me coming back for more, because they're not going to last probably any more than seven, eight, maybe nine fish, but uh, they certainly work. No way. First cast on the swim bait in this pond. And I got a pickerel. Little baby pickerel. What the actual heck? Sometimes when you're out on the water, guys, you'll find yourselves little gifts, like this Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher hanging in this little bush right here. Somebody from shore was casting right here, and this frog is in great shape. I actually already have one of these exact ones, but two doesn't hurt. <laughs> awesome. It's a $6 frog right there. It may be only April, but somebody is decorating the tree early for Christmas this year. And our brand new bait right there. Sweet. Now it can join its uh, brother from another mother right here in the tackle box. Here's mine. There's the one I just found. Looks like this is very great shape right here. We got something. Could it be a snakehead, man? Is there a chance? Is there a chance? At the, ah, oh, it's just a bass. Oh man, that's a nice fish, but man, he was pulling hard. I was thinking snake. My alarm's going off right now, I gotta get to work, but <laughs> really nice chunky bass, really nice. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh. That's just how it goes. I legit thought it might have been a snake. He was a fighter. I'll give him that. And that pale coloration. <laughs> I don't want to leave right now. I just had another bite on this cast. Yeah, you can tell he pulled the freaking Kitek off the back. Oh man, guys, I thought I had him. <laughs> Kitek's been putting in work today, I'll tell you that. Just got hammered again. They are ripping this thing right now. Last cast right here, guys. If I don't get the snakehead on this cast, I'm gonna have to make this a multi-day episode, which I'm fine with doing. I put in a lot of work today, a lot of hours. I've been out here since 10 this morning. It is, uh, about three o'clock now, and I got a fish on the last cast. <laughs> Little pickerel. What in the world? See, we're catching literally everything but the snakehead, but still a lot of fun. It's Kitex, man. Multi species lures for sure. He won't let go of it. rip the tail right off but that's how we're gonna end this segment of the video we will continue to fish until i get a snakehead but for today it's gonna have to wait Take it slow.